Yes, yes, and George's homeschool rock. <laughs> I'm getting out a sample bag so I can collect a big sample of the rock. So my name's Aiden and I'm a geologist. And as a geologist, we like to look at rocks, as you can see here. And we like to look at rocks to work out information about the earth. So how these rocks formed, where they came from, and even how old they are. What are you collecting? So I'm collecting these rocks so I can work out how old they are mm -hmm. and also their chemistry mm -hmm. so I can know what elements make up this rock here. Mm -hmm. How old are rocks? So rocks can be a whole range of ages. They can form today or they can form billions of years ago. Mm -hmm. So how old do we normally live? Maybe 80 years? We're talking about thousands and millions of times older than humans. Is that cool? Do you have any idea how we work out how old a rock is? So what we have to do is we can look at rocks' relation to other rocks, so we can work out an age like that, or we have to look at all the little minerals inside of here, and we can actually work out their age by dating them. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So this here, do you know what this type of rock is? So this is a granite. So a granite is an igneous rock. Have you heard of an igneous rock before? So an igneous rock forms from a magma. Or it can be a volcano. You know what a volcano looks like? A big pimple popping out of the earth? We don't have any in Australia, do we? No, but we can go to Tonga, Hawaii, Mexico, the United States, and we can look at volcanoes and they're another type of igneous rock. Yeah? So this rock here doesn't come from a volcano. It comes from a magma chamber deep, deep within the earth. And that's why our crystals here are so big. Because the bigger the crystal, the longer it takes for the crystal to form. So we need our rock to stay hot for a long period of time so our crystals can grow bigger and bigger until they get to this size here, which is like two or three centimeters. It's pretty cool how you can see them, isn't it? Now, do you think this rock is the same as the granite? No. No, they're different, aren't they? Yeah, that one's a coin, that one's a rock. Yep, what did you call this one? A quartz. Yep, so this is quartz. Yeah. So quartz is a very, very simple mineral. Did you know that quartz is the most common mineral in the whole earth? on the surface. So if you were to walk anywhere on the Earth's surface, you're probably going to find quartz. We found a giant quartz up on the road. Yeah, yeah it's really deal. common. And they form big blocks like this. And it's really hard, isn't it? Yeah. You can hit it and it's not going to break apart. Yeah. Now if you go to the beach, what do you think the sand is? Mm, no? It's quartz as well. Yeah, so it's just smaller broken down pieces like this block here. Just down a little block, little, little blocks. So as a geologist, we get to use lots of different tools to help us look at rocks. Now if we were to look at this rock here, you can see the surface is pretty dirty, isn't it? So what we sometimes have to do is use hammers or geopicks to hit the rock and crack it open like this one here, so we can see the fresh minerals on the inside. Now, sometimes the minerals here are really, really small and they're hard to see. So other things that we use are hand lenses. Do you know what this might be? So it's actually a magnifying glass, so we can look at the minerals here and see them closer. So what we do is we close one eye, look through it, and put it up near the rock, and we can actually see the minerals more clearly. Did you want to have a go? Can you see anything? Blurry? 
Yep, so what you have to do is you move it further and closer away until it's in focus. Yeah, do you want to try again? So come, you'll have to come way closer, like this far away from the rock. Closer, 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 closer. Yep, now move this, like this. Hold on. Keep your head still. So move this until it's in focus. Is it in focus? Yeah, you can see them. Yeah, there's lots in there, isn't it? So that's a mineral that we call hornblende. And the other minerals in here are quartz, little quartzes, not as big as this one. And then we've also got feldspars in here as well. So we can see that this rock here is made up of lots of different minerals, whereas this one is only one mineral. Exciting, isn't it? You're very welcome. Guess you're just homeschool. <laughs>